Hey, how's it going? This is part two of replacing a stuck or tight price fister faucet handle. This handle gradually became tighter and tighter and eventually fused itself to the base and now turns as one piece. This heavy duct tape should protect the base from the vice grip pliers I'm about to use. If you replace the handle early on when it's just starting to get difficult to turn, you'll be able to remove it with your bare hands. The handle is so tight, my right hand doesn't have enough leverage to rotate it. If your handle has some movement, try spraying some WD-40 on the gap between the base and the handle and wiggling it back and forth until it loosens up. After struggling for several minutes, I used a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe for additional leverage. Home Depot sells a 2 foot piece for $1.90. You can easily cut it down to size with a handsaw. The pliers were slipping, so I removed the duct tape and clamped the pliers directly to the faucet as tight as possible so the teeth would bite into the metal. The normal range of motion for the cold water handle is between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock. I'm being careful not to go beyond that or I'll break the cartridge. After looking at the online reviews, the tight handle is a widespread problem. This is the second time I'm replacing my handle. Fister provides a lifetime warranty for faucets made after 1997, but only if you're the original owner. When I submitted my claim, they didn't ask for a receipt, but they did ask for a photo of the faucet so they could identify the model and send the correct part. The easiest way to submit a claim is to go to their website, or if you prefer, call their 800 number. I have the direct link in the description below. All this black stuff is the degrading gasket, which is the cause of the tightness. So after five days, I received these two sets of handles and two sets of brand new cartridges, completely free. Fister even covered the shipping charges. If your faucet has been dripping or the handle spins 360 degrees, this is a good time to replace the cartridge. I have a link to the video that shows you how to do it below. Place the handle in the 3 o'clock position when twisting it back on, or the 9 o'clock position if you're replacing the hot water handle. If you can't get a replacement and you don't mind reusing the messed up handle, you can use WD-40 to gradually loosen it up. The process will take several minutes and a lot of twisting, but it will dissolve and wash out the rubber gasket shavings. If you're able to disassemble the handle from the base, please let me know how. The handle is attached to the base with a retainer C-clip that's close to impossible to take off because of its location inside the base. I tried with several tools with no results. If this video is helpful, subscribe and let me know. I read and appreciate every comment. Thank you.